Hello, we're Vampire Weekend. Our new album is called Only God Was Above Us. The title comes from the album cover, which is an image taken in a subway graveyard in New Jersey in 1988 by Steven Siegel. In the picture, a guy's holding like the real newspaper, the daily news from that day, and the headline is Only God Was Above Us. And eventually we decided maybe that should be the title. This album was recorded all around the world, just uh, by happenstance. A little bit in Tokyo, a little bit in London, a little bit in LA, a little bit in New York. And as always, we write songs in so many different ways and we piece it together painstakingly in the studio, uh, spending long hours with our producer, Ariel Rekshad, trying to kind of stitch things together with mixes of live stuff, uh, stuff from the demos, new stuff, you know, that's how we do it. Only God Was Above Us is a New York album, in a sense. It's got a very New York cover, and a little bit of it was made there, but a lot of it was just kind of thinking about the history of New York. It's a place where we all have roots. The band started there, and uh, this album has a lot of kind of reflections on kind of music and history. A very special person who deserves a shout out for their how their work contributed to this album is Steven Siegel. Because not only is he the photographer who took all these amazing pictures in the 80s that became the front cover and the back cover of the album, he had this amazing video footage that you see in the, both the Capricorn and the Gen X Cops video. And we were really blown away by his work and how it captured a very unique time in the history of New York, but also with, you know, a real surreal touch. Here's a fun fact about this album. Um, as opposed to Father of the Bride, which had lots and lots of different producers and special guests and was kind of our big uh, double album, this one is a much smaller crew. You're gonna see a lot of me, CT, and Bayo, and Ariel. But one notable exception is, guess who played drums on Prep School Gangsters? Dev Hines, and he had a broken arm. He broke it playing soccer. What? <laughs> Some of my favorite lyrics on the album are probably in the song Hope. It's our longest song, and so it has a lot of verses. And um, I think, you know, writing enough lyrics to be compelling, um, even in a long song with almost like a folk structure, felt like a real achievement. It's a Those great are song. my favorite, yeah. My oh, favorite I'm glad too. you guys agree. I think, you know, the song Pravda, I just always really loved it, loved the lyrics, loved the sound of it. That's That one and Hope are my two favorites, I would say. I gotta go connect. Getting a little mm. proggy, lots of lots of lots of different parts strung together, real nice. Mm. Lately, I've been feeling um, ice cream and piano and classical tracks one and two. Just feels like some new territory for us, but kind of has some of that high energy early dub sound. <laughs>